don't know. Some of his reasoning was really stupid. Splice specific effects. Is she sticking middle finger right now? <laughs> So avoid splice loops, says music lawyer. I just watched a video where a lawyer said, if you want placements and sync deals, you cannot use splice loops. But the good news is if you have a- Wrong. Edit them. Wrong. Edit them. Edit them so they're not going to get claimed. There you go. Solved your problem there, buddy. With a splice loop in it, you can just remake the splice loop. And I was like, wait a minute. I've definitely gotten plenty of syncs and placements using splice loops. I've gone over the splice terms and conditions with a fine tooth comb, and I've even talked with lawyers. Well, no, I think, the, I mean, if I had to guess, what she was probably saying is- you are opening yourself up to a vulnerability of dealing with copyright, right? About this. And as chance would have it, the MEC had a lawyer, Ryan Schmidt, to discuss the real reason why a lot of lawyers advise producers against using splice loops. But the real reasons might surprise you. It's not because it's not legal to use splice. No, it's because they're, they're assuming they're fucking dumb and going to just like copy and paste it exactly. We even use this splice in 2024. But to be fair, I use it for like drum samples. I don't use it for like melodic loops. That's... That's kind of cringe. Samar Jocks. That's how you pronounce her name. Um, Jock. Yeah, she's awesome. This guy's mustache is sus as fuck, dude. Sus as fuck, dude. Way too much mustache. She uh, was she's talking about uh, splice used in syncs and how she suggests that creators avoid splice. So so Payne, go ahead and, and play the video. If you want to do sync, I would avoid splice. Great audio. Fantastic audio here. You can actually take the splice sound and just remake it yourself. Using splice, there have been so many things that have been lost because they have spl splices specific effects. Such a fucking dumb fucking thing to say. So if you're, how would remaking it make the fucking problem any better? Like, I feel like you might just be opening your, what dude? I feel like you're opening yourself up to new problems. Backs or splice, now it's, it's a problem. So avoid using that at all costs, especially if you want to get a What is with this video here too, bro? I don't know who who did this here. Is it DJ Payne or is it the two lost guy? But they're fucking up. They're fucking up horribly. Like this is like two FPS. Spli splice specific effects or splice these now it's, it's a problem. Splice specific effects? This bitch has no idea what the fuck she's talking about. Splice specific effects? Specific effects or splice these now it's, it's a problem. Splice stuff in there. So avoid using that at all costs, especially if you want to get a placement. So essentially, um, I'm sure the people at Splice didn't like this video. Uh, she's saying if you want placements, if you want sync placements, then you need to avoid using Splice. What's I want to talk about who the fuck screen recorded that video. Because first of all, they were using voice meter, which is like a red flag. Secondly, it was like two FPS. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, can you not re-record it again afterwards? Like, be like, oh, that was fucked up, dude. Maybe I should, like, figure out my encoder settings or something. And I, I checked out the comments on this, too. And uh, Bro, this guy's mustache is crazy. It looks like a fake mustache, to be honest. There's, there's a bunch of angry, angry folks here. The thing you have to understand about the sync world, um, and really just label publishing as well, um, to a lesser extent, is that it's all about limiting risk. So just because you can incorporate a splice sample dj Payne always looks so uninterested dude like i want to know what he's looking at on the screen right now i feel like he's not even engaging with this like visually or verbally into your song and the terms and conditions say you you can do that you can recreate it you can even put it in in sync dude dj Payne is thinking about what he's gonna have for dinner tonight right now i am i can i'm almost positive bro placements doesn't mean that the individual He's like, he's like, am I going to have Burger King or am I going to like, should I like cook some fish? Like, what should I do? I'm in pain right now. Placements doesn't mean that the individual, the music supervisor or the legal team on that production is going to feel comfortable enough with those terms and conditions to clear that. And so a lot of music supervisors have created these blanket policies of if you can't warrant that every single sound on here you own and you've created and you have permissions for i don't even want to touch it i guess i could see that i could see that yeah yeah from what i've seen like the, the to get say, getting to they want it to be as easy as possible they want it to be kind of a one-stop shop unless you know probably unless if it's a huge record that they need to have you know in the in 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 the piece whatever they're they're using the, the music for um so you would so you would tend to agree with samara essentially absolutely i, I think that again it's it's a different i can understand i guess kind of because then like they they might pay for something with like a like a royalty free loop and they may have to worry about copyright 
Um, but I feel like if you actually flip the loop in some way, then it's not a problem. Even though it would probably be safe if you flipped it properly, if you're honest with them and you said, yes, I used a splice loop, they will most likely reject it anyway, just as a precaution. The difference between whether or not you have the right to do it because of that con contract, those terms and conditions, and whether or not that's going to be good enough for the business person making the decision to use it. Um, just because you can <laughs> dude, fucking jump scare, dude. I will. I didn't know you were there, dude. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a little cruel. Um, every time I've seen these people, these dudes talking on like their DJ Payne's podcast thing here, this chick has like almost nothing to say ever. And I, for a second, I thought they kicked this is so fucking mean, dude. <laughs> for a second, I thought they kicked her off, and I was like, oh, this is better. <laughs> and yeah. the other thing you got to keep in mind is that there's so many different, um, sample libraries and stuff like that, people might say it came from Splice, but they might forget where it actually came from. And it could come from some other place that doesn't have that protect. That is the dumbest fucking reason ever. You could apply this logic to anything, dude. You can apply that logic to fucking anything, dude. I see this all the time. People say, oh, it's a, it's a band lab thing. It's a Splice thing. And, and we try to hunt it down. And it was neither of those things. So you also have to put a lot of trust on the songwriter, on the artist, when you're going through that clearance process. And these things move so quickly. They mm -hmm. want to be able to get those rights and permissions right then and there because the show is is going live, you know, on Thursday and they're reaching out yeah. to you on Monday. So now, you know what he needs, dude? He needs a high pass filter on his mustache. I think that, <laughs> yeah, Chad is all about the stash, dude. You're just going to lose that placement if you have to try. Bro, I swear to God, DJ Payne is like fucking thinking about something else right now. He's thinking about like, uh, should I call that girl back? What am I going to eat tonight? Whoever to get that permission. Uh, I've seen the same thing happen. He's like, fuck, dude. I actually, I just, I just got a placement lately with the splice loop. Shit. Should I call them back about that placement? Because I use a splice loop. Like, bro, DJ Payne is totally thinking about something else right now. <laughs> it's the funniest shit in the world, dude. Because, again, you've got some other people that you need to just get clearance from. And some people aren't super great with their emails. And time is not your friend when it comes to clearing sinks. Yeah. What? What? Because I know that some artists will just be might not tell the truth about where things came from, and they'll just because like, hey, I want this placement. It's five thousand. I need that. Um, oh, I did this all. No, it's all me. But what? What's the potential risk and, and the likelihood of that coming back to bite you? Super risky. I've seen that blow up in epic fashion before. The music sync community is an interesting place with, where both the music industry and the film and television industries intersect. Imagine DJ Payne's actually just thinking about the guy's mustache, bro. He's just like, he's just like, what is going on with this guy's mustache, dude? How did he get it to grow out so thick? The people making those decisions on what songs get placed in the film, television, video game, very few people, and they're very, very, um, they talk to each other. They're all, they're all pretty friendly. Mm -hmm. And if you are somebody that has a good relationship with one of them, then they, you have earned that trust and you're going to be able to get more placements because they know they can count on you and they can get these things cleared very quickly. But the opposite is also true. If you tell somebody that everything's good to go and then it ends up not being okay, their production is getting a cease and desist, a takedown, something like that. That all comes back to you. You're the one that made them look like an asshole and it, it just ruins the relationship. And you I guess I understand that, but... Um... I don't know. Some of his reasoning was really stupid. Like the, the whole thing that you think it's from Splice, but it might be from somewhere else. That's fucking dumb because that could happen with anything. You know, I don't know. You better believe that they're going to tell all their sync friends, watch out for that person. They told me it was good to go and it wasn't. Yeah, um, obviously, we would never suggest anything like that. It always comes back to bite you in the long run. Even if you get away with something here and there, like it, it, in the long run, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to hurt you for sure. I'm not done with this. I want to push back a little because I've certainly gotten both placements and, and sync deals with splice sample based tracks. And, you know, the way I look at it and what you brought up, it makes sense. You know, people, especially music supervisors, have their own rules. It's not about what's legal. And I think the splice conversation. He used OTT on the stash, guys. There we go. So the guy's entire argument is that lying exists so splice equals bad. No, that was one of his arguments, I believe. The other the other argument was actually I don't even know what the fuck another argument was, to be honest, dude. <laughs> I think that might have been the entire argument. I don't know. I mean, from what I understand, at least like the reason that it could be an issue is because you could deal with like copyright issues. For instance, if another song is using that same splice loop without it being altered, I think that is one of the only ways it could actually like bite you in the ass. Other than you like lying or forgetting where it came from. It is often characterized as a black and white issue where it's 
a matter of Splice just not being accepted for sync. You can't use Splice for sync. Well, you can when you look at Splice's terms. Mm-hmm. And Splice has actually implemented a system to respond, I think, mostly to the content ID problems. I imagine that would certainly work as proof of adherence to Splice's royalty-free... Q-Trax, I, I, I want to own us. I want to sock you in the mouth right now, all right? <laughs> the chat is the best thing about this channel. Bro, I'm telling you, this chick has not said a single fucking thing this entire time right now. List all the information needed to prove that that's where you sourced that sound. Um, because the difference between me getting a guitar loop from Splice and me getting my friend to play the guitar loop and us not having any sort of legal agreement is night and day. In that case... The latter is much riskier. I would prefer if, and I think you pointed to this, I would prefer. Well, I think a lot of times they don't even want you to collab with other people too. So, I mean, unless you like it's agreed upon. It goes both ways with that argument because for instance, okay. So let's say you get your friend to play a guitar loop and you don't have like an agreed thing, right? So that could bite them in the ass in in the future. It depends on like the contract, but you also don't have to worry about other people having that fucking loop unless you're sharing that loop around. So, cause it's not as public as splices, right? People, not anybody can just go and buy that loop at least like as easily as they would on splice. Or if producers were more prepped rather than scared to use Splice and and to deal with syncs. So instead of saying, don't use Splice, you would say, okay, organize your samples, understand the terms, read the the end user license agreement, and with certain packs, have your licenses organized in. Bro, I'm I'm gonna lose my shit if this chick in the bottom right corner does not say a single word by the end of this. (laughs) Cause I have a feeling she's not gonna, we're getting near the end here. Splice, you can download the individual licenses for every little, Come on, say something, say something. So you can have that ready. Say something. And then if it comes down to the the sync house or the music supervisor asking you to prove that you own this, you have all that information. You don't have to scare them into cutting you out. Because, I mean, I'm not disagreeing with anything you said. Um, The video kind of made me nervous because there is that narrative that you can't use Splice for syncs. You can't use BeatStars for syncs. I made a video about the beat leasing thing because, you know, rappers will see that in in the beat leasing agreement, it says no syncs. I'm like, of course it says no syncs, because why would we give you just a blanket license to go and make a ton of money off our music? The sync license is separate. I've gotten tons of syncs. All the artist has to do is say, hey, I leased this beat from you for you know, $50. It's getting synced. What do I do? Oh, just tell the people singing it to send me an agreement. Mm-hmm. And then we do it, and then that, that rapper ends up making $1,000 off a $50 investment. So life is, life is good on that front. So I think and there's I, a lot I, of I fear. Like, why, why, does it say, why does it say no syncs if, if in reality? She's an NR and doesn't always talk on the beat parts. Mm. Reality, it's like, hey, we just need to negotiate this. Like, shouldn't uh, because if if the agreement said you can synchronize this track, that would mean you already have basically a pre agreed upon sync license. Where no, but but I mean, it doesn't have to say no. It says you can say syncs if, but like. There's more room on the page to explain. Like, what she oh, she said something, dude. She said something at fucking 10 minutes and 47 seconds. There was third. We should have bet on it, guys. I would have lost. An artist, Dame, if you give them an inch, they're going to take 38 miles. I get why he says no six. Because it's like that way you just stay away. And then they're like, hey, man, I got to sink. They come back to you. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I get it. But if, it, but if it says no sinks, they might, it's probably when there's an opportunity that presents itself in their mind, it's like no sinks. All right, I'm going to use this other song. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, I, no, I think that's a risk. Yeah. And I, and I think that's the risk of legal language. Ryan Smith can talk to, can speak to this. Having seen so many different artists not understand what. Th- yeah, she's locked the fuck in right now, dude. She's about to yap hard. Their leases say or what their distribution record deals say. It's one of those things like if, if the contract said you can sink, but only under these conditions <laughs> i'm just imagining they're all just so distracted by this guy's mustache they're just like don't stare at it look away look away <laughs> not looking at it i'm not looking at it <laughs> xyz they might just see you can sink and go with that and not even worry about the oh shit, additional- he's, looking- oh, sh- oh, shit he's looking at me what the fuck <laughs> conditions you know on the flip side you could say you can't sink Unless you seek prior written permission from from pain, you know, and, and there's there's different ways to 
to finesse that. I, I do think that you, you do give, um, you run some risks if you put in the permission first. This is my final pushback because this part of the video terrified me. You can actually take the slice sound and just remake it yourself. You can actually take the, the recording of this video and remake it yourself because the audio is so fucked up. In Splice's legal terms and conditions, you cannot just remake the loops and then somehow trans... Well, clearly that, clearly that person doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. ...for ownership to yourself. I think what she, to give her the benefit of the doubt, what she was trying to communicate is that you can compose something similar that doesn't infringe on the copyright owner who composed that Splice loop. But even that is legally problematic because I've been in that situation with labels where we'll use a sample and they're like, we, we can't clear this. I'll say, okay, cool. I will remake it. And I have to remake it for the Push Icy record. We did damn near 20 different versions of it until the label finally says, okay, the musicologist cleared this. This is, this is dissimilar enough that we can get away with it. Is she sticking middle finger right now? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Do you guys see this? <laughs> Am I fucking crazy? I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind right now. So she said nothing. She said one thing this entire time. Now she's fucking sticking the fucking finger. <laughs> this may have not been the most financially viable stream, but this is one of my favorite ones. This has been this has been grade A content. This is gonna be mm, this is gonna be great on the second channel. <laughs> Why is she sticking the finger, dude? <laughs> and I was like, it's been dissimilar. What are you talking about? <laughs> dude, she's doing it more. <laughs> what the fuck dude oh my god i'm losing my fucking mind right now but they really want to cover <laughs> over their asses because they don't want what the fuck, dude? <laughs> legal problems so i'm just cons i wish she hadn't said that because now you're gonna have producers looking at that and saying oh a lawyer said i can remake a splice loop and be legally clear and that is not true. You can't remake shit and be legally clear because you are infringing on someone's underlying composition copyright, not the sound recording. Cool. You've, you've gotten, you, you've, you've squirmed away. From like sometimes people are like, why are you watching videos like this? And I'm like, bro, trust me, there's gyms here and there. You never know when they're going to come, but there are gyms here and there, bro. From that. But even then I'm guessing that's probably problematic given the, the royalty free terms. I don't know what the fuck to make of that video. It's a bunch of nonsense. It was fucking hilarious. Um, I mean, I guess like the takeaway is apparently don't use splice loops if you're trying to get sync placements because it might be not from splice. And then because of that, like you shouldn't do it, like which that could happen with any fucking loop or anything, really. What were they talking about again? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I think they were all just thinking about that guy's mustache the entire time.